That's got whacked out of shape, uh, the banks. Um, are you buying or do you think it's prudent to stay away for a while till the inflation picture clears out? I think, uh, you know, again, banks have been one of the leaders in the sector over the last 18 to 24 months in terms of the overall movement of the markets. Uh, so clearly they're going through a fairly deep correction. Uh, you know, 20, 25% uh, has become the norm. And the last standing uh, bastions of private sector banks also got uh, fairly beaten down this week. So I think we, we see this as a buying opportunity, especially, you know, during panic times. Uh, you know, obviously uh, things need to get a little more clearer from an interest rate and a margin point of view. But I think the fears are already in the price. And uh, in terms of, you know, the longer term play, I think these corrections are actually great opportunities to continue to accumulate banks. Uh, specifically, you know, the, the frontline names that uh, one always wanted to buy but never had the confidence with other valuations. Nitin, what do you expect to see from the macro front now? Because the wor worries seem to be very macro in nature. You probably will get a tepid IIP number. That's the expectation. Uh, is, is it all in the price or do you think that might remain a serious headwind for a while? I think it's not all in the price yet because there's so many uncertainties and there is so much uh, that, you know, that still needs to be known. Uh, the market just doesn't know which way to move. So even on the IIP number, for example, even though the expectation is fairly muted at about 6.5%, I think there's still some downside risk to it given the, the core sector growth that we've, number that we've seen already. So I think uh, I don't think the headwinds are, are completely gone away. Uh, the real interesting thing really will be to see what the earnings seasons throws up, not just from the point of view of Q3 numbers, but more from the point of view of the, of the next four quarters and, and what that does to, to the FY12 you know, earning estimates, which has, at this point haven't been downgraded or, or changed much. On a Sensex you know, basis, we're still talking about 12.50. So if there is a 5 7% downward correction, does that have a, a PE compression associated with it? And if that, that's true, then we probably are looking at another 5 7% down move from here, purely based on, on the fact that we may go from 17 times FY12 to 15 times FY12, especially if the number goes down. So I think, I don't think all of it is in the price because really we need to know a lot more. Uh, you know, we need to hear from the, from, the, from the companies as to what their experience is. And, and parallelly keep an eye on the global macro front as well. But I think right now it's more about domestic macro than global macro. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Any concerns on the kind of primary market pipeline we have this year, Nitin? It's quite large, and this time it's not just public. There are some big uh, private issues as well. Tata Steel is one, but uh, Jindal will also come out with a big issue. Might that stimmy the secondary market's move? Well, I think uh, in, in a way it has to go hand in hand. You can't really expect the primary market to do well if, uh, if there are concerns on the overall you know, macro front. So I think... Clearly, the issues will have to wait till there is clarity, unless they try to price them at a, at a point where they become compelling, uh, which, you know, again, doesn't look likely given the fact that the, a lot of these issues have been waiting for not just the last few months, but actually the last two or three years. So, so I think uh, it, it will have to be dependent on the overall sentiment in the market. I mean, we saw a fairly good uh, year for, for IPOs in 2010, at least all the way up till October, November. So I think uh, you know one has to really wait out the volatility and the and the uncertainty before the, the primary market can can be revived again in terms of very healthy large issues issues coming in.